Okay guys, we are going to be talking about Jesus Christ according to the Quran. What are some of the few verses you will really need to understand according to the Quran? First thing, the Quran tells Muslims to obey Jesus Christ. According to Quran chapter 30, Quran chapter 3 verse 50, the Quran tells Muslims that they are supposed to obey Jesus Christ. So you can read this all this passage and you see I Jesus in Jesus in context have come to you to attest the law which was before me and to make lawful to you part of what was before part of what was forbidden to you I have come to you with signs from your Lord so fear Allah and obey me said Jesus so Jesus asking people to obey him Yes, obviously, some people will just defend it quickly by saying all oh, the prophets, we have to obey all the prophets because all the prophets came with the message of Allah. No problem. Let's continue so that you see where it becomes complicated. Second thing we have, somebody telling you to obey him, which is a sinless person. Let's continue. So we have only two points. He is sinless according to Quran chapter 19 verse 19. Jesus Christ is sinless. He is a messenger. He said, um, uh, the messenger came to Mary and was like, hey, I've come to you to announce you the gift of the, that you're going to give birth to the Holy Son. So he is sinless. He's already a sinless person. So a sinless person telling the people to obey him. A sinless human being telling the people to obey him. Let's continue. I don't even want to talk about Jesus Christ being the spirit of Allah because if I talk about Jesus Christ being the spirit of Allah as found in Quran chapter 4 verse 174 the spirit proceeding from Allah you will understand that there is no way for that spirit to be created the spirit proceeding from Allah cannot be created the spirit proceeding from Allah cannot be created spirit this spirit is not created so I don't even want to talk about it let me go to the main point what I wanted to tell you next part we are going to talk about Jesus Christ again we already saw and then we saw again this Jesus Christ Born and not touched by Satan according to Hadith number uh, book Hadith Sayyid al-Bukhari number number 54 uh, this is number 506 uh, number 506 we see that satan is able to touch everybody once they are born but only for the case of jesus christ satan tried and he was not able to touch jesus christ this is it next thing what do we already have let's make a summary we already have somebody which is holy no somebody which is asking people to obey him he is holy the devil has no influence or is not able to have access to him. The devil is weaker than him because the devil cannot touch him. The devil is weaker than him. Let's continue. That same holy person which is telling people to obey him, which is the, which the devil is so weaker and the devil is able to impact everybody. According to that verse, the devil is able to impact every other human being except one specific human being which is holy, which is sinless, which is telling people to obey him. And this same person is able to make from clay, make a bird from clay, heal the blind, heal the lepers and raise the dead. According to this same Quran chapter 3 verse 49, Quran chapter 5 verse 110. You can read it for yourself. So we have a sinless holy person able to raise the dead, raise dead people, giving life to birth and he's telling you guys to obey him. According to you, he is just a mere prophet because there are multiple passages telling to people that his past is a mere prophet. But the problem again is he is also a spirit proceeding from Allah. And if somebody is, something is proceeding, coming out of Allah, it means that thing does not have a beginning nor it does not have an end because Muslims believe Allah does not have any beginning nor now see having any end so Allah does not get old according to you guys so because you believe he is God almighty according to Muslims so because of that if there is a spirit that has always been proceeding from Allah which is Jesus Christ which came down which came down which came down from heaven and came to do what he did today 
what he did on this planet according to Muslims saying that he is only able to he is only a prophet a mere prophet let's now go small to the Bible so that you can see first we are going to go to John chapter 5 inside John chapter 5 what do you see you will see for example let me just say John chapter 5 Jesus told him stand up and pick up your mat and walk instantly the man was healed he rolled up his sleeping mat and began walking but this miracle happened to on the sabbath day and then it became a problem for him so it became a problem that people wanted to kill him because they didn't understand what the sabbath day means what is the sabbath so we have jesus christ able to heal somebody who was sick we have again in this same thing oh internet is stepping my my phone we have again for just as the father gives life and raised from the dead he also so the son gives life to anyone he wants so we had something here where he was saying according to Quran chapter Quran chapter 3 Quran chapter 3 verse 49 Quran chapter 5 verse uh, verse 110 saying chapter 5 verse 110 chapter 3 verse 49 saying that Jesus Christ is able to raise from the dead he's able to blind heal the lepers and all the stuff we also find out that Jesus Christ, according to the Bible now, he has absolute authority to judge anyone. So as a son, the father judges no one. Inside, he has given the, the son absolute authority to judge so that any everyone will honor the son just as they honor the father. Anyone who does not honor the son is certainly not honoring the father who sent him. So if you do not honor jesus christ as you are honoring god that is what this verse is telling us in john, john chapter 5 in the bible you have to honor the son the same way you honor the father what does it mean to honor the son the same way you honor it means if i kneel down if i stand on my knees five times a day to honor the father first of all no muslim believe that allah is his father that is the concept in the bible we are children of God. You guys, Muslims, are slave of Allah. That is what is written inside the Quran. So, so for us Muslim, for us Christians, sorry, for us Christians, uh, we are honoring the, the the Son the same way we are honoring the Father. If I pray to the Father, I also pray to Jesus Christ. If I fast for the Father to do something in my life, I also I'm also at the same time fasting for Jesus Christ to do something for me. So at the end of the day, Jesus Christ is the only person in the Quran that is holy, the only person in the Quran that is able to create and raise the dead, raise the dead, the only person in the Quran able to raise the dead, Jesus Christ is the only person in the Quran, according to what we are seeing here, um, which is sinless, the only person in the Quran which we are supposed to obey and is holy, Anyways, all Muslims will say they have to obey all the prophets, they are obeying all the prophets, but at the end of the day, he is a sinless holy spirit proceeding from Allah which has no beginning or no end. How do we call that kind of a person? Call him God according to the understanding of everybody. Give your life to Christ. Stay blessed. Stay away from Islam.